Are you tired of following weight loss advice that never seems to work? Let's be honest, the weight loss industry is full of more contradictions than a politician's autobiography. One minute kale is the magic bullet, the next it's practically poison. It's enough to make you want to crawl under a weighted blanket and eat your feelings, which ironically might actually be closer to a diet plan than some of the things you see out there. What if I told you some of the most popular weight loss tips are actually myths? Buckle up, buttercup, because today, we're diving deep into the wacky world of weight loss, separating the science from the snake oil, and hopefully answering the age-old question, what really works for shedding pounds? Hello, my fellow truth seekers, it's your friend here to guide you through this labyrinth of weight loss misinformation. Let's be honest, losing weight can feel like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube while riding a unicycle on a tightrope, blindfolded, while being heckled by a room full of nutritionists who all disagree with each other. It's complicated. But fear not, dear viewers, because today, we're going to break down the science behind weight loss, expose the myths that have been holding you hostage, and hopefully give you some actual actionable advice. No fad diets, no miracle teas, just good old-fashioned evidence-based information. Okay, before we get to the myth-busting, let's talk about how weight loss actually works. It's a fascinating process that involves a lot more than just eating less and moving more. There's a whole science behind it that can help you understand how to effectively shed those extra pounds. And no, unfortunately, wishing on a shooting star while eating a plate of nachos does not count. While it would be nice if weight loss were that simple, the reality is that it requires a bit more effort and understanding. Weight loss, at its core, is about something called a calorie deficit. This means that you need to consume fewer calories than your body uses in order to lose weight. It's a simple concept, but it can be challenging to put into practice. Now before you click away I promise this isn't a boring physics lesson. Understanding the science behind weight loss can actually be quite empowering. It gives you the knowledge you need to make informed decisions about your health and fitness. Basically, it means you need to burn more calories than you consume. This can be achieved through a combination of diet and exercise. By eating a balanced diet and staying active, you can create a calorie deficit and start losing weight. Think of it like your bank account. Spend less than you earn, and you'll be rolling in the dough, or at least not drowning in debt. Similarly, if you consume fewer calories than you burn, you'll start to see the pounds come off. Now your metabolism plays a crucial role in this whole calorie burning extravaganza. Your metabolism is the process by which your body converts what you eat and drink into energy. Even when you're at rest, your body needs energy for basic functions like breathing, circulating blood, and repairing cells. It's like the engine of your body, constantly chugging along, burning calories even when you're binge watching reality TV. The rate at which your body burns calories at rest is known as your basal metabolic rate, BMR. This can vary from person to person based on factors like age, sex, and muscle mass. And then there's nutrition which is basically like the fuel you put in your body's engine. The quality of the food you eat can have a big impact on your metabolism and overall health. Eating a diet rich in whole nutrient-dense foods can help keep your metabolism running smoothly and support your weight loss efforts. You wouldn't put diesel in a petrol car, would you? Just like your car needs the right type of fuel to run efficiently, your body needs the right nutrients to function at its best. Well, maybe you would if you were feeling particularly chaotic, but you get the point. Making poor food choices can lead to a sluggish metabolism and make it harder to lose weight. Eating a balanced diet full of nutrient-rich foods is key to keeping your metabolism humming and your body functioning at its best. This means incorporating a variety of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats into your meals. Exercise is another important component of weight loss. Not only does it help you burn calories, but it also has numerous other health benefits. Regular physical activity can improve your cardiovascular health, strengthen your muscles and bones, and boost your mood. There are many different types of exercise to choose from, so it's important to find something you enjoy. Whether it's running, swimming, cycling, or dancing, staying active can help you create a calorie deficit and support your weight loss goals. Setting realistic goals and tracking your progress can also help you stay motivated. It's important to remember that weight loss is a journey and it's okay to have setbacks along the way. The key is to stay consistent and keep moving forward. Managing stress is another important aspect of weight loss. High levels of stress can lead to emotional eating and make it harder to stick to your healthy habits. Practicing mindfulness and finding healthy ways to cope with stress can help you stay on track. Getting enough sleep is also crucial for weight loss. Lack of sleep can disrupt your metabolism and increase your appetite, making it harder to lose weight. Aim for 7. 9 hours of quality sleep each night to support your weight loss efforts. Staying hydrated is another simple but effective way to support your weight loss goals. Drinking enough water can help you feel full and prevent overeating. It also helps your body function properly and can boost your metabolism. Seeking support from friends, family or a weight loss community can also make a big difference. 
Having a support system can help you stay accountable and provide encouragement when you need it. Finally, celebrate your successes along the way. Weight loss is a challenging journey, and it's important to acknowledge your hard work and progress. Whether it's reaching a milestone or simply making healthier choices, take time to celebrate your achievements. Remember, the goal is not just to lose weight, but to create a healthy lifestyle that you can maintain long term. By understanding the science behind weight loss and making informed choices, you can achieve your goals and enjoy a healthier, happier life. Let's address the elephant in the room, or rather, the grapefruit in the diet industry starvation diets. Yes, those incredibly restrictive, joy-sucking plans that promise rapid weight loss, but leave you feeling like a grumpy, hangry shell of your former self. Here's the thing. Drastically cutting calories might lead to some initial weight loss, but it's not sustainable, and it can seriously backfire. Your body is a brilliant, adaptable machine. When you suddenly deprive it of the energy it needs, it goes into survival mode, clinging onto every last calorie like it's a life raft in a sea of kale smoothies. This means your metabolism slows down, making it even harder to lose weight in the long run. Plus, you're more likely to binge eat when you're constantly hungry, which, let's be honest, is a recipe for disaster. Ah, the 90s, a time when fat was the enemy, leg warmers were considered fashionable, and the internet was just a dial-up tone away. It was also the decade that brought us the rise of fat-free everything, from cookies to yogurt to, God forbid, potato chips. But here's the thing, fat is not inherently evil. In fact, our bodies need some fat to function properly. The key is to choose healthy fats like those found in avocados, nuts, and olive oil, over the unhealthy trans fats lurking in processed foods. And here's the real kicker. Many low-fat or fat-free products compensate for the lack of flavor by adding sugar, artificial sweeteners, or other additives that can actually sabotage your weight loss efforts. Let's talk carbs, shall we? Those delicious, energy-giving compounds that have been unfairly demonized by the diet industry. Look, not all carbs are created equal. There are good carbs and there are, shall we say, less than ideal carbs. Simple carbs like those found in sugary drinks and processed foods are quickly absorbed into the bloodstream, leading to sugar spikes and crashes that can leave you feeling tired and craving more sugar. Complex carbs, on the other hand, like those found in whole grains, fruits, and vegetables, are digested more slowly, providing sustained energy and keeping you feeling fuller for longer. So, the next time you hear someone say carbs are evil, gently remind them that a world without bread, pasta, and rice is a world not worth living in. Now let's talk about extreme diets and cleanses. Those trendy, often bizarre, and usually short-lived attempts at quick weight loss. We've all seen them, the juice cleanses, the cabbage soup diet, the one where you only eat cayenne pepper and lemon juice for a week, please don't do that. Here's the thing, these extreme measures are not sustainable and can actually be harmful to your health. They often deprive your body of essential nutrients, mess with your metabolism, and can even lead to nutrient deficiencies. Plus, let's be honest, who wants to live in a constant state of deprivation? Life is too short to be miserable and hungry. Okay, enough with the myth-busting, let's talk about what actually works for weight loss. And no, it's not some magical supplement or a starvation diet, it's about making sustainable lifestyle changes that you can stick with for the long haul. First up, regular physical activity. And no, you don't need to become a marathon runner overnight. Find activities you enjoy whether it's dancing, hiking, swimming, or just taking the stairs instead of the elevator. Next, a balanced diet. Focus on whole, unprocessed foods like fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains and don't be afraid to indulge in moderation. Portion control is also key. You can still enjoy your favorite foods. Just be mindful of how much you're consuming. And finally, listen to your body. Eat when you're hungry, stop when you're full, and don't beat yourself up for the occasional indulgence. As you embark on your weight loss journey, remember this. It's a marathon, not a sprint. There will be ups and downs, setbacks, and temptations along the way. But the key is to be patient with yourself, celebrate your successes, and learn from your mistakes. Set realistic goals, focus on making small, sustainable changes over time, and don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. And remember, there is no one-size-fits-all approach to weight loss. What works for one person may not work for another. So, listen to your body, experiment, and find what works best for you. So there you have it, folks. We've debunked some of the most pervasive weight loss myths and explored strategies backed by science. Remember, sustainable weight loss isn't about quick fixes or extreme measures. It's about making informed choices and adopting healthier habits for the long haul. If you found this video even remotely helpful in navigating the often confusing world of weight loss, give it a thumbs up. And while you're at it, share your own experiences in the comments below. What weight loss myths have you encountered and what strategies have worked best for you? Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more myth-busting adventures and science-based health advice. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and remember, you've got this!